In a Jar by Deborah Marcero. In a Jar, Deborah Marcero. Llewellyn was a collector. He collected things in jars. When he held a jar and peered inside, Llewellyn remembered all the wonderful things he had seen and done. He collected small, ordinary things like buttercups, feathers, and heart-shaped stones. One night, the sunset painted the sky the color of tart cherry syrup. Llewellyn ventured down to the shore with as many jars as he could carry. A little girl named Evelyn was there Two. Llewellyn scooped that cherry light into his jars, and when he was done, he gave one to Evelyn. Evelyn took the jar home, and to her surprise, it glowed through the night with the memory of that sunset. From then on, Llewellyn and Evelyn collected things together. They collected things hard to hold, like rainbows, the sound of the ocean, and the wind just before snow falls. They collected things you might not think would even fit in a jar, but somehow they did. They collected the wonders of winter. The newness of spring. And the long days and shadows of summer. Over time, their jars filled the walls of Llewellyn's home. But one day, Evelyn had sad news. Her family was moving to a new town. Too soon, it was time to say 
goodbye. With Evelyn gone, Llewellyn's heart felt like an empty jar. One night, Llewellyn lay awake. Falling stars glittered against the dark sky. He wondered if Evelyn could see them too. That gave him an idea. Llewellyn tiptoed out into the moonless night and collected the meteor shower in a jar. The next day, he prepared a package. Llewellyn, Evelyn. When the box arrived and Evelyn opened the jar, the stars in the night sky fell around her. Evelyn knew just what to do. She collected the sounds, the crowds, and the bright night lights of her new home and sent them all to Llewellyn. And so, when the golden leaves of autumn began to fall once again, Llewellyn set out to collect a jarful for Evelyn. A little boy named Max was there too. Luckily, Llewellyn had brought an extra jar. The End